Hey there, it's Uncle Mark at the park. That's actually a really nice day out. Fortunately, I had a little problem with my automobile. You see, I was driving along at um, pretty low speed. I'm gonna say maybe 20 kilometers per hour, luckily. And yeah, and one of the tires decided that it wanted to social distance itself from the rest of the car. I'm sure you could see how that could be a very big problem. Because if that happened on the highway at, say, 100 kilometers per hour, chances are I wouldn't be making this video right now. It can never be a good sign when you're driving along and then you hear like a <coughs> noise. And then your steering wheel is turned left and your car is, your wheels are facing straight. Yeah, that's a problem. So I did the right thing and pulled into the nearest parking lot and realized, yeah, there's a major problem here. So let's take a look under the car and see what it is. Oh yeah, have a look at that. Let's try and get under there. We'll have a look here. This is supposed to be attached to the car. There. Yeah, that's a problem. So, on the other side, it's nice and rusty too. So now we wait for the tow truck. So it's times like this that I'm really glad that I kept my CAA membership in good standing. Because sometimes you don't need to use it for a year or years. And sometimes you need it more often. This is kind of surprising that something like this happened to a car that doesn't have high mileage on it. Well, let's just say I wasn't too happy when I contacted my mechanic to find out uh, what kind of repair I'm looking at here. And the response was, the first thing you need to do is call a Nissan dealership because I believe there's a recall on that car for that. I said, really? So I contacted Nissan and guess what? It is a recall. How can they possibly have a recall on something like this? And they don't even notify people of it. That is a safety issue. That is pretty dangerous. What if this happened on the highway at 100 kilometers an hour? The tire would fly off the car probably. Not happy about that. But you know what I am happy about? The fact that I have an honest mechanic who instead of just taking the business and charging me who knows how much it costs to repair this, but sending me to the dealership where they can pick up the tab on it. So a service campaign is considered not that serious as a recall, I guess. So now I'm just going to hang out here and wait for the tow truck. Malfunction. See owner's manual. Yeah, think. CAA to the rescue. So today, I'm going for a little walk to pick up my car. I'm starting at Bathurst and Steels in Toronto. And the dealership is Alta Nissan at 11667 Young Street in Richmond Hill. I figure this will probably take about four hours to walk there. Well, let's see. So tell me something. What is the point in having a bike path, walking area, sidewalk, these sort of things? When your city workers just park on them when they work. It'll just kind of defeat the purpose. And over here, on the side of the 407, this is what I'm going to call the 407 Swamp. Uh, here's a view you don't get every day.
you know, things you don't notice when you're driving by on the street, but when you're walking, they got their own gas pump. Oh, as I continue along my travels today, just want to let you all know that I'm turning myself in to a much healthier person by doing all this exercise. My, how the times have changed. They serve beer at child care centers. When they said everything's closed due to COVID, they weren't kidding. I'm not quite sure how it works. They call this a service campaign, not a recall. It should be a recall, in my opinion. Uh, this could be very dangerous. I read up about it. It says that in the United States, in places that have winter, and in Canada, the salt eats away at these parts called links um, and causes them to separate, as you see it did. Um, I'm sorry, that's pretty dangerous, and I think that this should be a mandatory recall but that's my opinion so if you're an owner of a 2013 or 2014 nissan altima and you haven't done this i suggest you go to the nissan website enter in your vin your vehicle identification number and it'll tell you if there's any recalls or service campaigns on your vehicle and if there is, I suggest that you take advantage of these so you don't have to go through what I just went through. Thanks for watching.